So, uh, greetings everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever part of the world you're watching our video blog, as well as listening to our Spotify podcast. We have uh, recently moved to the Spotify platform so that our podcast would be more accessible worldwide. Thank you for listening to our podcast and watching our video blog. My name is Al Mina, Face Economics Concept Author. And I'm basically doing this podcast uh, as a special dedication to those who supported my campaign a while back, you know, in 2020. But I, I'm especially dedicating this podcast to those who believed in me to those that listen to some of the things that I talked about while I was on the campaign trail, supported, you know, my campaign with the little money that they have. You know, some of them didn't have much and yet they still believe in me. So thank you so much to those who, um, you know, decided to support my campaign as a newbie candidate to the U.S. Senate. You know, my background is in economic development in emerging and frontier markets of Central and Eastern Europe. When I was in high school, I was selected to be a part of a program that is, you know, uh, basically developing young Americans to be able to serve not just America, but serve those of our friends around the world, our allies and our partners worldwide uh, to better their communities, help them build capacity in economic development and develop a strong trade and commercial relationship between our countries. So my you know, experience in Central and Eastern Europe was when I worked for the U.S. Peace Corps. I was stationed near uh, the borders of the Republic of Moldova and Ukraine. And I had a wonderful time serving the U.S. Peace Corps. Met some amazing people. Still to this day, I know them, love them, care for them. And whatever, whenever I get the chance to visit the region, I try to visit my dear friends in Eastern Europe. So I do feel like a, it is almost a, a home for me. So with that said, uh, when I was campaigning, there wasn't a whole lot of people that have heard of my name. Um, and not even, you know, believe that I have the experience and background to serve in the U.S. Senate. There were a few people that believed in me, but majority of my fellow Virginians didn't care or didn't even, you know, uh, follow um, my campaign, unfortunately. Never got any national news exposure to share my background. Um, You know, I tried to provide ways to consider you know an efficient and effective way to uh, create opportunities in central and eastern europe so that you know any form of conflict or any form of disruption in the region can be mitigated or can be prevented as you all know, um, there's this major issue in Eastern Europe, and fortunately, many have died uh, in a war that could have been prevented had the national news and my fellow Virginians gave me the time and day to voice my concern. See, I was in the region in 2014 and 
basically when I was serving in the Peace Corps all the way back in 2008, 2009, um, there was also a major conflict that took place um, in Georgia. So I've, I'm, I wouldn't claim that I'm, you know, uh, I know it all. I, I, I'm, you know, uh, I'm infallible uh, and, and, you know, basically are in the know about everything that's happening in various government systems throughout Central and Eastern Europe. But I would say based on some of my experiences and, you know, research, you know, the conflict in Ukraine could have been prevented. Um, and now billions of U.S. tax dollars later and countless lives lost, you know, um, that shouldn't have been, you know, snuffed out because of the, this war. You know, I want to, you know, thank those people in Virginia and even outside of Virginia that believe in me and believe in my potential contribution to the betterment of societies and peace among nations, especially, you know, in Central and Eastern Europe. So, I mean, this podcast is a little, um, you know, a little sensitive for me just because um, I know that if I was able to share my concerns during my campaign and it was, if it was um, covered by the national news, maybe, you know, the war or the escalation regarding the war between Russia and Ukraine could have been de-escalated or prevented. So, you know, I'm not trying to comment uh, on the situation too much because I know this is a very sensitive subject and a very sensitive situation for both sides, the Russians and the Ukrainians. Uh, but now that America and American taxpayers um, have gotten involved, you know, I wish I was able to share some of my thoughts uh, regarding, you know, potential conflict between Russia and Ukraine during my campaign. You know, I, I mean, it's very unfortunate that there is a war and so many countless lives have been lost. Um, you know, rebuilding Ukraine is definitely going to take a while. Um, and, you know, recovering from both sides, recovery from both sides will, will definitely take a while to uh, get back on their feet. But, you know, as I mentioned, I would like to thank my supporters, you know who you are, uh, for giving me the chance to share my thoughts and ideas um, regarding my agenda to make not only Virginia, America, and the world a better place and more inclusive and peaceful place. Um, you know, when I joined the Peace Corps, I left a really good job. Um, you know, it was probably one of my dream jobs prior to joining the Peace Corps, but I've always wanted to help others, especially our allies and friends, and even those that don't like us, 
because you know the way that you win hearts and minds is by you know being transparent and genuine with people so i decided to join the us peace corps and i believe um i managed to not only contribute but i've learned quite a bit in terms of the needs and wants of the populations of Eastern Europe, which is rightly so, they, they definitely, sh you know, deserve peace. They definitely deserve, you know, prosperity and opportunities and be able to develop their society and build their economy. So again, folks, this podcast is dedicated to my supporters that didn't have much and most of them were, are marginalized in America. Predominantly, them don't really have a voice. Um, and most of them were ignored, just like my campaign <laughs> and my, you know, voice was ignored by the national media and basically the prevailing or the major parties in the country. Um, all right, well, you know, again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, from, you know, I, I cannot I thank you enough for believing in me, for giving me a chance as a non-politician, as a non, you know, um, bureaucratic individual to participate in the 2020 general election in the state of Virginia. And I hope that one day um, I might be able to serve in whatever capacity um, that I can you know, contribute to the state of Virginia or to any other state throughout America. And also lay a hand to our friends and you know allies okay folks thanks so much and i look forward to connecting with you again this is just a special message to my supporters because i, I i'm starting to you know realize that i didn't give them enough you know um accolades i didn't really you know give them enough thanks for supporting my campaign for believing in me and for helping me share my message you know with the state of virginia okay folks thanks for listening